CBS Force Peter Dent joins us live from the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Ukrainian Catholic Church in Miami with more on that effort from here. Peter. Elliot, we can tell you all of this is very timely. In fact, uh, Senator Marco Rubio introduced a bill last night to expedite aid to Ukraine. Now, the deacon of this Miami church says Rubio's office called them, and that prompted a special meeting today in southwest Miami Dade. Ukrainian Catholic Church Deacon Paul Galatza says a great deal of support will be needed in the long term for Ukrainian refugees. This is going to have to be a sustained relief effort to be able to help those people um, in every possible way, psychologically, physically, financially, helping them resettle. Galatza and Andriy Roman Kiev, the pastor of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Ukrainian Catholic Church, met with staff members at the office of Senator Marco Rubio. They said they were told his office would expedite visas for Ukrainians who want to come to the U.S. Well, that's tremendous. If you've ever tried to get through paperwork, you'll know that it's a daunting task. And if, if in times like this, if they could help, you know, uh, save a day, a two, or a week, or a month in, in the process, that would be very, very gratifying and very reassuring. Julia Lamesh says help is needed right away for her loved ones and others suffering in Ukraine. Kids in, uh, in subways just laying down in uh, bomb shelters just on the ground and sleeping there. Luckily enough, I, I haven't lost anyone so far. But the situation is unfolding. It's, it's getting more and more casualty. As president of the Ukraine Global Scholars Foundation that helps Ukrainian students, she is also worried about them. Uh, parents of my uh, students in Ukraine who are now heroically fighting against Russia um, got injuries. Some of them are in hospital. I, I hear from my friends and friends of, of friends that they need more support with everything. Now, Julia Lamesh says uh, assistance is needed in so many areas, from help for refugees to humanitarian aid to military hardware to even more soldiers for Ukraine. Meanwhile, Deacon Paul Galatza says there are encouraging signs of resistance in Ukraine. We are live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you. Public supermarkets making a show of support for 